we have a really subversive little season of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia on our hands. And even more so as we take a look at the third episode, The Gang Beats Boggs Ladies Reboot. Now, just to cover a couple things, some key takeaways, and then some background about the episode. This is a callback to the season 10 premiere episode. And again, just to give you an idea, the gang on a cross-country flight to Los Angeles decided to beat the legend of Wade Boggs, who drank 70 beers over the course of the single cross-country flight. Um, you can go back if you're a Always Sunny fan. I'm sure you've seen the episode, how great and hysterical of the episode it was. This is an episode in which Dee decides to gather together the female supporting cast and have her own version to one-up the men. Now, a couple of takeaways that I take from the episode before I get into the overall theme. I've never heard the expression, I'll make sure I get this right, soy boy beta cock. That was a new one to me. Uh, it was very interesting to see Martina Navratilova taking the place of Wade Boggs, but hey, we did get a guest appearance from Boss Hogg, Dukes of Hazard fans. And of course, it was very interesting to see how much more just blatantly racist Mac's mom gets when she apparently is just devouring all of her nicotine patches. But I want to get to the overall theme of this show, which really I thought did a really good job in, in hitting back, I think, at a lot of ways we define female comedy and women in film and when women do humor. I like this idea that, that the, the very basis of this episode is, and Artist Miss brings it up, is like, why are we just trying to do what the guys do? Why are we defining how we are as women and that we can be funny? And why are we always concerned about being like guys? And I think that was just a really nice touch overarching the entire thing. D wanting to accomplish something and what was the purpose of it. I also like the idea and the, the contrast of, you know, that gross out defines women as funny in men's eyes. And I, and I think this was a bit of a, a nudge to bridesmaids and the in the scene everybody talks about, which is the whole everybody, you know, puking and crapping and everything else. Um, but I don't think that's really, again, this idea of why do we define female humor in the context of what men do and what men find funny and why does one have to be at the other level? Sometimes everybody just has different humor. And I think that was the other lining key in this episode too, is this idea of Women are not this collective monolith that think and act in just one unison. It's, it, we're, they're as diverse as, as men are and should not be earth shattering or shocking. But I think the episode does a really good job in that because D goes into this with this understanding of this, this I want to get back to the men and we are going to be unified. But even within her group, you see a lot of different aspects. And we went over this. Artemis, the one who is the empowered fist in the air, but who then turns around and does not hesitate to rip off other women with stuff she knows are just blatantly just garbage. The waitress who is just the self-destructive uh, woman who just thinks she is going to get back at Dennis by doing destructive things to herself, blind to the idea that Dennis is a sociopath and doesn't care about anybody who isn't him or, we'll say, isn't within that tiny collective friendship group. Uh, Charlie's mom, for lack of a better phrase, the sellout. She doesn't like the idea or isn't comfortable with the idea of women in power, women doing things. We see how she reacts when Dee just starts doing math. Uh, so we see Charlie's mom in that position. And then, of course, Mac's mom, which, again, beyond just what we saw, there are a lot of aspects about Mac's mom that get assigned to guys. And it's when Mac's mom shows a lot of those traits, it's interesting because they aren't comfortable and don't want to be around her, even though the argument and the fight is to be more like guys. So I think there were a lot of issues that they really covered in this episode. Uh, I, I think they did it in the typical just over, over the head, you know, it's always sunny way. I, the, the puking and, and the crapping scene, it's just, again, it's always sunny driving a point home and then they're going to drive the point home with a sledgehammer over and over and over and over again. But overall, I thought it was an excellent episode. I, again, I think three for three so far. I, I like where they're going and this underlying message the shows always have, but I like that it's wearing its like social arguments on its sleeve a lot more this season, but making sure they're giving everybody a little bit of a share f shot across the board. And at the end, can't go wrong in the idea that it's the symbolism of seeing Charlie and Mac's moms being the ones who end up uh, ending the competition. I thought that was very touching and very symbolic on a number of levels for what was, I think, a very, very telling episode and worth more than just one viewing.